Hello, this is Cassie from St. Vincent Family Center, and today I'm here for some story time. Story time is actually a great way to talk about feelings and also to practice social skills together. And you don't need any special books to do this. You can turn almost any story into a social and emotional learning opportunity. And today we're going to practice that with the story Dylan's Day Out. This book is actually pretty unique because most of the story is told through the pictures rather than the words. So I would love it for you and your children to join me in reading the story together. Let's get started. Dylan's Day Out, story in paintings by Peter Catalanado. Day after day, Dylan's master went out and there was no one to speak to. Oh, look at Dylan. I wonder how he feels all by himself. Maybe sad and lonely. Dylan could only stay and sit and dream day after day. Look at that, Dylan is dreaming about being outside with different animals like zebras and pandas and birds. Look at those animals. What do you notice about their colors? They're all black and white, just like Dylan. But one morning, he found the door open. This day was his. Wow, look at that. I think Dylan's going to go on an adventure. He's playing in the flowers, sniffing the trash. He's even chasing a car. Let's see where he goes. Off to the country he ran. Wow, look at this big winding road. And there's Dylan all the way right here chasing after the car. But something's coming from the distance. It looks like a soccer ball. Hmm. Oh, thunk, look at that. The soccer ball hit Dylan right on the head. What would you do if a soccer ball hit you on your head? I think that might hurt. Dylan even looks a little confused, doesn't he? Wow. And the penguin came over, he took the ball, and now he's walking away. I wonder where he's going. And is Dylan okay? Hmm, seems like Dylan's all right now. He sees the soccer ball go up in the air again. I wonder if he'll find out what's going on. Ooh, it looks like a soccer game with penguins. Penguins are practicing kick the ball. And look, there's Dylan way over by the hill watching. We see some penguins playing dominoes and a crossword puzzle. And this penguin's enjoying a snack. And here comes the other team. Skunks are coming to play too. Hmm. The referee's throwing up the coin. They're gonna see who goes first. All of the players are getting ready. I wonder if Dylan wants to play. What could Dylan say if he wanted to play? Yeah, maybe he could say, can I play too? It looks like he's talking to the penguin and the coach. Uh-oh, this penguin was so full from snacks he fell over. It looks like Coach is gonna let him play. Hmm, this penguin has his arms up like this. This penguin's scratching his head. I wonder how they're feeling about Dylan playing the game. Maybe they don't seem very sure about how it's gonna go. Maybe a little bit worried. And the game starts. The skunks have the ball. They're kicking it back and forth. The penguins are trying to play defense. And look, there's Dylan. He's playing goalie. Wow, the skunk takes the shot and Dylan blocks it one, two, three times. How do you think Dylan is feeling? Yeah, I bet he's feeling really good right now. Maybe even proud because he's doing such a great job. Oh boy, look at this. Dylan starts with the ball at the goal. He passes it to his friend 
who then passes it to the next penguin, then to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and then they take a shot. Wow, look at that. They're really playing together and working together. We like to call that teamwork. How do you like to work as a team with your friends? There's lots of things we can do to work together. Oh boy, the skunks are gonna go for another kick. And look, his shoe flew off. Oh my goodness. And there goes the ball. And look, it landed in the goal. And Dylan has his shoe. It says, skunks zero, penguins won. And the penguins won the game. So the game was won and the day was done. Looks like it might be time for Dylan to go home. And Dylan never said a word. Mm, look at that, Dylan is back home and so is his master. And there's a newspaper article about the game. Look who's in the picture. It's Dylan. I wonder if his master knows about the kind of day he had. But Dylan's not going to say a word. And that's the end of our story. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I'll see you next time.